Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and styling guys. So today's video is kind of like an impromptu <laughs> because I was sitting here thinking and about clothes and being tall and having these struggles that we go through for our five, I'm gonna say five, nine and up, struggle when it comes to like pants and jackets and stuff and I wanted to just give you guys a few tips on things that I do to make sure that I always have something to wear and that I don't feel out of place because when I go into a store, I can't just pick up something and go, right? So I'm just gonna jump right into it and let's talk about wardrobe gaps. Wardrobe gaps are things that make our closet functional, right? And those are the things like white button-ups, white t-shirts, black blazers, um, striped shirts if you're into that, plain turtlenecks, trench coats, the basic stuff like that. The things that you see on women and you're like, oh my gosh, she looks so cute. It's usually something that's basic that actually made the outfit, right? So, basic doesn't mean boring per se to me because I definitely think that it adds, it can complete your outfit, right? And I like to use the, the blue jeans and the pumps, for example. You can wear that with a white button up, tie it up, have on some really, really, really nice accessories, or you can wear a t-shirt with a blazer. So I want all my tall women to know that, yes, we can be stylish without having to kind of do what everybody else is doing. Because at the end of the day, most of that stuff doesn't fit us properly so it really we really have to take the time to do research to really understand the brands that cater to us right and i'll say let's just let's say let's say zara right so zara doesn't cater to us however they sometimes have things that fit us now if you are a tall woman who's slim probably small like me I'm, I'm not like skinny, skinny. well, I'm slim. <laughs> um, but I, I'm still a lot of weight. I still weigh like a 205 pounds, right? But it's cause I'm tall. But I'm not very big at the bottom or anything like that, which is fine. So that helps me into getting into some other clothes. Now, if I was, I used to be a little bit more busty before I lost weight. So I used to struggle when it came to tops and jackets. Then I have broad shoulders. But now that I have lost weight, I can actually fit into a lot of Zara stuff, meaning like their pants, if they come long enough. And I can actually tell when they're like super, super long. If they're dragging on the floor for a shorter person, I know that I can fit them and I can probably take out an inch or maybe two inches, right? So look for things like that. So Zara, again, I see all these hauls with Zara, but it's not really for us. And let's just keep it all the way through, right? These shirts that they wear, well, I'm sorry, I don't even want to say shirts, these dresses that women wear, uh, average height women, we love y'all. <laughs> but it just doesn't look the same on us because we're tall. Even, even distressed jeans, guys, if you really think about it and you put them on, the holes don't fit where they're actually supposed to hit. And that's because we're tall. Now, I'm not saying that you can't wear it because definitely we love distressed jeans, right? <laughs> So it's just really being mindful on where you're buying your stuff from and how the things are fitting you. So this is just like I said, an open conversation about it. So for me, coming from New York, I definitely didn't really struggle like that in New York. It was just something that I shopped almost every day, guys. Um, and now I am doing a lot of online shopping because I find a lot more things online. So when you are online shopping, please, please make sure you are reading the product details. The product details is what's going to help you make your decision into buying the item, right? So let's take this jacket, for example, right? I didn't know if it was gonna fit me because I have broad shoulders. However, when I bought it, I was super happy because the sleeves had about two inches to bring down when I got it, I'm like, okay, I have to bring it down. But I actually didn't. It hit at a perfect spot for me. 
right below my wrist, which was perfect. But if I wanted to, I could still take it down. So always do your own little hacks for your clothes to fit you, like cropping jackets, like I did. I showed you guys in a couple of videos ago. I'm actually, I'll probably um, link it above. It wasn't a full video, but I was just showing you guys. And getting things tailored, okay? So for us, if we pull up a pair of pants and it's a little too snug, we can size up, size up, get it tailored. Get it tailored and you will feel so much better in the clothes because it actually fits you. When in doubt, always size up. Never get it if it's too tight because we don't buy what? Inspiration clothes, guys. We don't do that. So, yeah, so those are some of the ways that I shop. Reading those product details help me so much when it comes to buying stuff. And let's just put the little, let's put it out there. We get tired of scrunching up sleeves, right? We want something that actually fits us like a normal blazer. We may not want to always scrunch the sleeves up. It's just what it is because I don't. So like I said, you can get it cut to a three quarter sleeve blazer or take out the seam if you have enough room to take it out. So that is it. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about some of my shopping experiences that I have and see what you guys think about it. How are you guys shopping? Are you struggling? Is there something that you're struggling with that I can probably help you with? Because I will say this, I don't think I struggle. I think I have learned to maneuver through this world with this because they don't cater to us. And if they do cater to us, the stuff is not like, it's not super nice. So let's just keep it funky, okay? So I had to come to terms with making things work for me. So and shoes let's not talk about shoes because we have big feet too right so when it comes to shoes now here's my i'm guilty of this if i see a pair of shoes i don't care how much it is they have to fit me properly i'm gonna buy them if they have them in my size because <laughs> that's bad but i know that nowadays everybody's wearing women's shoes <laughs> and um they take in the bigger sizes, right? So I have to be ahead of those people and pretty much grab up the size. So if there's two colors, I'm probably gonna get both colors, guys. It's so bad. But I know that it's something that's gonna last me. And two, I can't buy, well, we can't really purchase a cheaper shoe because we're tall, we may be slim, but we also are kind of heavy, right? <laughs> so, Buying cheap shoes with cheap heels just won't work for us. So the, the point is to really invest in the stuff that you want to buy long term because we are tall women and we want the things to look nice on us, right? Like I said, we may not be able to buy every single trend, which I really don't like trends, but everything that's coming out, but we can definitely tweak our stuff to still be stylish in our own way. So comment below if you have any questions on anything about style, um, or if you actually want to talk to me on a one-on-one -on -one call to pull out your personal style. So that's it guys. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco we see you. And guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNY. And head over to my website, grab your freebie at CocoStylesNY.com. And head over to my blog at CocoStylesNYC.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.